Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a quick video, well, it may not be too quick, but it's on this ambient weather weather station. Um, I did another video on what I thought of it. I've had this for two years, really like it. I show you the outside station and it's just worked really well. In this video, I want to talk to you about connecting it to the internet. It's a little tricky and I just want to go over it. I've had some problems with it in this portion. Uh, once you get it set up and working, it works. It just I remember it being kind of hard, so I'm going to go through it again. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to do is download this AWNet app. Okay, so if you go to your Google Play or, or even your iPhone where you get apps, it looks like a pretty legitimate, it doesn't have very good reviews, but it, it is an app. Okay, so I press, in order, this thing will talk to the Wi-Fi but I need to tell it what the Wi-Fi is and the Wi-Fi password. And the way I'm gonna do that is through an app. So I'm gonna have, this thing's gonna transmit its own Wi-Fi signal. And the way you get that is you press the wind and the pressure button together for five seconds, and then that starts flashing. It's already flashing because I've already put it in Wi-Fi mode. So now this thing is transmitting a Wi-Fi signal. Okay, so before I connect to that Wi-Fi being transmitted by the um, unit, I'm going to want to make sure I got this AWNet app. So before I open that, I'm going to connect to, so see under my Wi-Fi scan page, I see the A, the weather. So that's what I'm going to click on. Then I'm going to back out. Then I'm going to type on the AWNet, add a device. This is what my device looks like. I'm going to hit the next button. This is now this screen just tells you how to put it in Wi-Fi, which I've already got it in Wi-Fi mode, and I've already um, connected my tablet to that Wi-Fi. So I'm going to hit next. Now it's going to be it's going to go search for them. Okay, so now this screen is really confusing, and I want to go over it. So you're going to hit this scan button. Okay, it's going to bring up your Wi-Fi um, addresses. So you're going to click on whatever Wi-Fi you want that. Um, display to connect to. So here it brought up so it, it typed in the ginkgo tree. I'm going to type in my password, okay? Now this other stuff, now that's my MAC address. You're going to want to write that down. But this other stuff is real confusing. So you can you can do this stuff later. Um, it wants you to register at Weather Underground. It wants you to go to Weather Cloud. These are all really nice things. But right now they're they're confusing. All I want to do is I want to get my device, my my weather station, I want to get it connected to the Wi-Fi. So I have to use this app and what this app does. So when I type in my password, and then I'm going to scroll down here, I'm going to hit the save button. What that's going to do is it's going to send this SSD and this password over to the device, and that way the device will connect to the internet. So again, this is how you get your, your device on Wi-Fi. You're going to type in your password. It'll show up here. I'm not going to do it for you now. And then you're going to hit the Save button down here at the bottom. You can do this stuff later. This stuff is just confusing during this process. All we're trying to do now is to get the, um, the weather station so that it connects to the Wi-Fi. So in the directions, it does say your router does have to broadcast 2.4 gigahertz. That's what the uh, unit will look for. Okay, so once you hit the save button, it should have saved. Okay, so once you hit the save button, see how the Wi-Fi light is steady now. That means this unit is actually talking to your home Wi-Fi. And now other apps can come and talk to it. That's those other apps that it showed on that display. Um, you can go to those websites and you can register your device and now you can see that whatever this is showing um, you can see it on the web pages but for right now all we wanted to do is make sure this thing was connected to the Wi-Fi and, that, and that's that first step we did okay so in the manual it talks about this uh, weathercloud.net and weather underground so you can you can go to both of those sites and register your device so the weathercloud.net this is what it looks like. You can see everybody else's weather station. 
And then the other one you can use is this ambient weather app. It's pretty nice. It lets you see everybody else's weather station. And you can click on yours or you can see what other people's weather is. If you make yours private, then everybody else can see what your weather is at your house. Okay, so now it talks about this weather underground. Um, I clicked on Center Network. I have a username and password, so I clicked on it. And I'm going to go through and add my uh, weather station. So when you click Add Station, or when you click on this Select a Device, you get to scroll through and you got to pick which one you've got. So I've got the WS2902A, and there it is. So I'm going to click the Next button. So it wants me to enter my address. So you can enter it in um, manually and you just use the map. You find where you're at and then you just select it and then it enters the uh, longitude and latitude. Or you can type in your address and it'll bring it up. Okay, you're gonna walk through the steps and give your device a name. So you gotta accept these, um, I accept, and email preferences. I think you can leave this one unselected. Okay, so after you hinder it, it gives you a specific uh, ID. It gives you a station ID and a station key. You're going to want to write those down. Okay, so once you register your device, it, it will actually look at your um, weather thing and it'll display it here on this web page. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this weather cloud. You're going to want to go to the weather cloud and register your device using that using that MAC address that you found in the app. So this is a really nice website because it allows you to, to kind of control what others you can either make yours private or public and other people can see your um, weather station and you can name it. You can give it a picture and it, it gives you a lot of history as far as what your weather station has has viewed so this is a really nice website to go to and register your device okay so you're also going to want this ambient weather app it's another app to put on your phone or tablet it looks like that and it also lets you see your history and your weather station it's got a nice map feature and lets you scroll around and see everybody else's um, weather station if you make yours public on that weather cloud uh, page that weather cloud so the weather cloud page has a lot of settings you can go into when you see your when you add your device you'll be able to see it and you can do all kinds of um, edit so the weather underground page you're, you're going to want to click on that sensor network and that's where you're going to add your sensor yeah and here it talks about sharing your information with other weather with other people can see your weather station so here it talks about the weathercloud.net and the weather underground. Those are two I've registered for them. You've got to have that MAC address uh, mainly. So again, this is just a dad. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, the first part of the video I think was pretty good. The second part as far as these apps, the weather underground and the weather cloud, they're really neat on the web page. Um, it's just hard for me to kind of explain them, but they have a lot of data and you can make your data private or public and you can see other people's. Uh, weather stations. So if you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.